Today we dive into the tragic incident that unfolded at the Al-Ali Arab Hospital in Gaza and explore President Joe Biden's take on the situation. As President Biden landed in Tel Aviv, he expressed deep sadness and outrage regarding the deadly blast that occurred at the hospital. Israeli officials claimed the explosion was caused by a failed Palestinian rocket launch, while Palestinian officials accused Israel of conducting an airstrike. The incident has further escalated tensions, leading to widespread protests. But amidst this, President Biden reiterated his support for Israel during a joint news conference with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. I was deeply saddened and outraged by the explosion at the hospital in Gaza yesterday. Based on what I've seen, it appears as though it was done by the other team, not you. When questioned about his conclusion, President Biden mentioned the data provided by the Defense Department. However, no official death toll has been confirmed, leaving uncertainty surrounding the incident. During the news conference, President Biden condemned the Palestinian militant group Hamas and expressed solidarity with Israel. He mentioned the devastating attack launched by Hamas on October 7th, resulting in the deaths of 1,400 people and the subsequent retaliatory strikes by Israel. According to Palestinian health officials, these strikes have claimed the lives of at least 3,000 people. As President Biden's visit to Israel tackles the aftermath of this tragic incident, the search for truth and resolution continues. Thank you for joining us in examining the Gaza hospital blast and President Biden's perspective on the incident. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more important updates.